Pakistan has been under the scanner for under-reporting the coronavirus cases. Officially, it has declared over 6,000 cases of COVID-19 infections so far, but a string of what have been described as mystery deaths in the last 15 days have raised concerns. There has been a sharp surge in the number of patients being brought to the hospitals who have been declared dead on arrival. What explains this surge in Pakistan? And can Pakistan take this lightly? Now, this report will tell you more. Pakistan is playing with fire. It has recorded the biggest spike in the number of deaths linked to COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. But what is even more worrying is what is happening at its hospitals. In the last 15 days, there has been an unusual rise in the number of patients being brought to hospitals who are either dead on arrival or who passed away within four hours after being admitted. But what caused these deaths? How many of them are coronavirus related? Is an autopsy being conducted in such cases? There are no clear answers forthcoming from the Pakistani administration. But as the mysterious spike in the number of deaths caused an uproar, Sayyid Murad Ali Shah, the chief minister of the Sindh province, was forced to admit that there are at least 15 deaths which could have been due to COVID-19. ऐसे केसेस भी अस्पतालों में आ रहे हैं विच और थोड़ी तादाद उनकी ज्यादा हो गई है वो अब ब्रॉड डेड जब एक बार किसी की जान चली जाती है तो फिर उसका टेस्ट नहीं लिया जा सकता लेकिन कुछ तफ्तीश के अस्पतालों ने की एक्सरे वगैरह लिया है मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली फिर उन्होंने एक्सपर्ट से शेयर किया है कि जो कोविड पेशेंट्स हैं कोरोना के पेशेंट्स हैं उनके लंग्स इस तरीके से होते हैं काफी केसेस ऐसे हैं जो हमें लग रहे हैं कोविड है और वो नहीं रिपोर्ट हो रहे हैं इनमें इसलिए नहीं कह सकता कि वो पॉजिटिव हैं लेकिन उनकी तत्फीन हमने ऐसे कराई है जैसे कि वो करोड़ा के शायद हो जो सरकमस्टांसेस हैं उसको देखते हुए और वो कम से कम पंद्रह हैं बट इज दिस द कंप्लीट ट्रूथ डॉक्टर Sini Jamali, the director of the Jinnah Postgraduate Medical Center in Karachi, the hospital at the center of the storm, has admitted that the situation is far worse. She has said that the number of emergency cases being brought to the hospital has gone up sharply compared to last year. Patients who are categorized as dead on arrival is up by 21%. We don't know what is the cause of death in these cases. According to estimates, the number of those who have died whose cause of death is not known could be over 300. Pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome is being said to be the cause of death in many of these cases. Another red flag is the demographic. Those contributing to the surge in these mystery fatalities are all in the age group of 45 to 60. Pakistan is disregarding all these red flags at its own peril. It is not conducting autopsies to ascertain the cause of deaths because it claims the next of kin are too emotional and already because of the death, hence the body is handed back to the family and no strict burial guidelines with social distancing norms are being adhered to, making all this a recipe for disaster in Pakistan. We are now joined by Vion's Pakistan Bureau Chief, Anas Malik, who is joining us from Islamabad in Pakistan. Anas, this is a very serious situation when the chief minister of the Sindh province has himself been forced to come out and admit that some of these mystery deaths may be linked to the coronavirus. Reports suggest that uh, anywhere between 100 to 300 dead bodies have been brought to hospitals in Karachi with no clue whether the patients were infected with COVID-19. What's the latest that you're picking up from your sources? It is indeed alarming for the Pakistani administration, at least for the administration in Sindh, and they have been admitting uh, since yesterday this news item came to light that at least 300 plus bodies were brought dead or were DOA or dead, uh, dead on arrival to the Jinnah Hospital. That is 
the second biggest uh, public hospital in Karachi, uh, the first being Civil Hospital Karachi. And uh, uh, this is official data. Now, there has been a sharp increase if you talk about from that of last year, because last year, during fr from this period, from the 1st of April until the 13th of April, about 230 such cases were reported. And this year, about uh, uh, 388 cases were reported. So we saw an increase of about 158 cases. Now, there could be, the, the government is saying that there could be COVID pneumonia cases cases or you know, simple pneumonia cases, they were to differentiate, they could have differentiated, but since an autopsy was not carried upon the insistence of the family members, therefore it was not, they were not able to determine on whether or not they were COVID positive or not. Now, having said that, the government of Sindh has been uh, calling out for people, ca calling out to people because we have seen that there are 1,097 cases in Karachi, let alone, out of which about 878 cases, that is exactly 81% cases are that of local transmission there have been 37 deaths that have been reported in Karachi. That is the economic capital of Pakistan, economic hub of the country. Uh, additionally, if you talk about Karachi's uh, uh, population, its cosmopolitan city, it has uh, 27 million people, more than 27 million people living as per the la latest census that was conducted in 2017-2018. So it's a huge city, it's a big city and there have been hotspots that have been identified by and large. We have seen at least uh, 18 areas of Karachi or uh, at least 18 Union councils, 11 that of being in District East and uh, about 7 and or 8 being that of in District South. They have been uh, completely cordoned off under a lockdown, uh, under a forced lockdown since Sunday. So the gravity of the situation is grave. The government is understanding. They are asking for uh, uh, the people to cooperate. The people refuse to do so. Uh, the government is saying that they are taking steps. That we have seen some backtracks as well. That uh, today, uh, a while ago, I saw uh, while speaking to local media, Dr. Simi Jamali said that they, they, they cannot be certain that they were COVID patients, right, but that right. it is quote-unquote not that unusual. This is a different, this is a backtrack from the position that what she was maintaining just last night hmm. on a lot on, on multiple TV channels, on multiple uh, interviews which she gave to the local media. So the situation is grave and Karachi remains to be that hotspot, that hub uh, that is a COVID positive hub and uh, the government is currently doing some firefighting and trying to right. avert more casualties from COVID-19. Yes, so you're telling us Karachi is one of the main hotspots as far as Pakistan is concerned. Sindh is certainly a hotspot in Pakistan, a state which has recorded a lot of cases. It's a global pandemic that the world is dealing with, not just Pakistan. Is it wise for the Pakistani government to not conduct autopsies on these bodies that are coming in large numbers in Karachi hospitals and not to determine whether they were COVID-19 patients and handing back bodies? Is there any reports within Pakistan that the numbers... Uh, are being underreported and are enough tests being conducted in Pakistan to ascertain the, the spread of this disease in that country? Well, uh, if you talk about autopsies, the law in Pakistan is that until and unless the, uh, it's a murder charge or it's a suspicious case uh, counted, uh, so similar to that of murder, then only an autopsy is manda mandatory. Otherwise, uh, the, uh, the, the onus is totally upon the uh, relatives or the host family whether or not they would want to conduct an autopsy, they would want an autopsy done or not. And most of, in most of these cases, we've seen that autopsies were not carried out. Having said that, if you talk about testing or uh, the, the very fact that that, uh, as you said, as you have, as you have asked, that uh, there could be cases that have been underreported. For now, there have been no no such instances where Pakistan has be, has been accused of underreporting any deaths or any COVID-19 patients. Yes, we have seen ministers coming out and saying that people need to come out and report themselves because we've seen people are uh, are uh, going for self quarantine, and then we've seen deaths happening as well in Rawalpindi, in Karachi, uh, and later it came to light that they were COVID positive patients. And in, not just that, in fact, the whole families were affected by COVID and that data was not under the government data. So uh, by and large, people are not coming forward, but government for now has not been accused of hiding data when it comes right. to the cases of COVID-19 or deaths. Having said that, the, the bigger trouble for Pakistan is that as we speak, there are only about 80,000 deaths that have been conducted. So the testing capacity needs to be increased. Absolutely. The government has been saying that they would be increasing, rapidly increasing the testing capacity by about 10,000. But we saw that yes, just yesterday in the past 24 hours, about 5,400 
500 tests were conducted. So from test to positive case, cases ratio is about 8.4 percent. Right. That is very very high. Pakistan has currently six more than 6,400 cases. So the more the tests are done and the more aggressively testing is done, the, the more we are expecting that the cases are likely likely to go up uh, by numbers. Yes, Shobit. Anas Malik getting us all the latest details from Islamabad. The official figures in Pakistan stand at uh, just over 6,400 with about 120 deaths reported so far. Sin Chief Minister, though, has admitted that some fatalities may be going unreported.